All right, let's get into it. Today, Adam Rank had the Jets selecting Brian Thomas Jr., the other LSU wide receiver, with the 10th overall pick. Now, this is the first time I've seen this in months. I haven't seen Brian Thomas Jr. mock to the Jets, honestly, since maybe January. Let's dive into it with my Frankie's report card. I'm going to give you Frankie's five grades on Brian Thomas Jr. And if it's worth it for the New York Jets to draft him 10th overall. All right. Number one, deep ball. What is the grade on Brian Thomas Jr. when it comes to the deep ball? He's awesome. A for awesome. He toasts corners. He loves the deep ball. He loves to get a track 40-yard bombs that he's getting. Got them from Jaden Daniels at LSU. Hopefully a team that drafts him is going to give him those in the NFL. Deep ball is probably the best part of his game. A, intermediate and slot. How does Brian Thomas function across the middle of the field and underneath? I give him a B minus. I don't think that's his strength, but it's not a weakness. He's a bigger receiver at 6'3", but he's got 4'3'3 speed. And he's learning how to run routes, which I'll get into next. Third criteria, route running. Overall route running from the outside, inside, wherever. How is Brian Thomas Jr. when it comes to running routes? C+. This is the one weakness of Brian Thomas Jr.'s game. He elongates routes. He's not decisive enough when it comes to his route running. And he's not deceptive enough when it comes to his ability to shake corners. He relies too much on his size and his speed to do that. Doesn't work in the NFL as well as much, especially against press coverage, which he's probably going to see a lot of. So give him a C-plus in route running. Yak, how is he after the catch? Very good. A B. I give him a solid B. Still some left on the table there because I think he's still thin and can grow out a bit. But he understands Yak, and he gets it a lot of times. He's able to go, you know, from the point of, uh, of catching a ball to eight yards in, in, in a blink of an eye. That's how quick he is. And he's constantly looking to go forward. Can he break a few more tackles? Absolutely. Not a weakness. That's why I give him a B. Red zone and hands. Another big strength of his. I give him an A. I give him an A. I think when it comes to tracking the ball and his hands, he doesn't drop a lot of passes, and he's constantly great at high-pointing uh, NFL, or he will be great at high-pointing NFL footballs. This guy is great when it comes to red zone and his hands. I trust him, and Jaden Daniels did too. That's why he had 17 touchdowns for LSU last year, which was third most in school history, only behind Jamar Chase and Justin Jefferson. And we know how those guys ended up. So overall, Brian Thomas Jr., to me, as a, as a wide receiver prospect, gets a B plus. Not, I don't think, at the top of this class. I have Harrison, Neighbors, and Adunze. But after those three, I have Brian Thomas Jr. right there. Now, should the New York Jets take Brian Thomas Jr. at 10? I don't think so. The only reason I say that is he is coming on to a team, if we were to draft him, that is featuring Mike Williams. That's going to be doing a lot of the things that he does, that he wants to do or does well, running those deep streaks, playing that Z role. And we still have Alan Lazard, unfortunately. I hope he can get better. Hopefully that unfortunately becomes fortunately, and maybe it could with Aaron. But we have Mike Williams and Alan Lazard still on the field. He doesn't, for me, the doesn't match well with them it doesn't you can't have brian thomas jr mike williams and and what lazar's your fourth it doesn't make sense to me i'd rather have someone that's better an intermediate and and in the slot game and is a little bit of of a more refined route runner coming out of the draft so you can utilize that player across the middle of the field so for me doesn't make sense for the jets at 10 what i hate to pick absolutely not he's so talented his comp to me a little bit weird. I saw that Dan Brugler had his comp at T. Higgins. I was I was looking at him and I was thinking Mike Evans, and then I'm like, oh, let me look at Mike Evans' forty time four five four. Then I'm like, oh, was Higgins is faster? No, Higgins has a four five nine. So Brian Thomas is almost a new age version of what these Mike Evans and T. Higgins receivers are. Four three three is no joke. So to the Jets draft Brian Thomas Jr. at ten, not with this 
draft when it comes to weapon and offensive line talent in the top 10. I don't think you can have the luxury of taking a kid that has to do a lot more when it comes to route running and across the middle of the field, but I wouldn't hate it either. Frankie's report card, five grades on Brian Thomas Jr.